The WNBA regular season is over, so I thought it would be a good time to compare the attendance to women's college basketball. Before I compare the two, let's look at the WNBA by itself. I think there's a lot of interesting things to look at. I want to give credit to the Just Women's Sports website for providing this chart. I've manually calculated attendance before, and believe me, it's an absolute pain. So I'm glad they did it and put the information out for everyone to see. I was very surprised that the Las Vegas Aces didn't break over 10,000 in attendance. I thought for sure that was gonna happen. I wonder if Cadence Parker being healthy would have made that a reality, considering she's one of the most popular players. However, they had an increase of over 4,000 fans per game, which is still good. Every team grew this year in terms of average attendance, except for the Seattle Storm, which makes sense considering all the players they lost. What's interesting is that they are the only team to break an average of 10,000 fans in the past two years. I find the fever interesting. It's easy to look at them and be like, wow, 4,000 fans is nothing, but they almost doubled their attendance. Aaliyah Boston and Grace Berger did a lot for that team in terms of interest. If they get another big draft pick, I think you will start seeing a packed stadium. I think Atlanta gimped themselves by moving to a smaller arena. Their average would be a lot better if their capacity wasn't so limited. But now for what you've been waiting for, how does WNBA attendance actually compare to college basketball? The WNBA has a league-wide average attendance of 6,600. This is how that number compares to the Power Five Women basketball conferences. The Big 12 surprised me. They are easily the weakest out of the Power Fives, but aren't that far behind the SEC in attendance. I guess Midwest people love their women's sports. As you can see, the average WNBA attendance is higher than all the Power Five conferences. The Pac-12 is dead last, not even averaging over 3,000 fans per night conference-wide. I think Kathy Engelbert is crazy for prioritizing the West Coast in terms and expansion talks. I'll go more into this at a later date, but the attendance they have is terrible relative to how good they are. Anyways, these numbers need some more context. It's easy to look at this and say, wow, the WNBA is a lot more popular than collegiate women basketball, but the averages for the conferences are misleading. It's because they have a lot of bottom teams with abysmal attendance. For example, the ACC has Wake Forest and Pittsburgh who can't even average over 1,000 people per game. Teams like this drag the average down. Let's look at the top 12 colleges in attendance. I'll round the numbers to the nearest 100 place to make it easier to read. Women's Collegiate Basketball had four teams average over 10,000 in attendance. They are the names you would expect, but I imagine most people wouldn't have guessed that Iowa State would be there. It's true that Caitlin Clark has grown women's basketball a lot, but Iowa fans have always been there. For the most part, the top women college basketball teams beat out the WNBA in terms of attendance. There's a small discrepancy in Louisville's numbers. The ACC conference website says 9,300, but the Louisville website says 8,700. I use the conference website because it's updated all the way until April 3rd. Depending which number you use, their placement would change a little. But what about future growth? LSU will easily average over 10,000 people this year. So that will make at least five teams averaging over 10,000 fans. I think it would be hard for any other teams to break 10,000. Maybe Jada Williams can get Arizona past that mark, but it's a tall task. For the WNBA, I think the Aces definitely break that next year. I'm surprised they didn't already. If Caitlin Clark goes into the draft, whatever team she goes on will definitely break 10,000. If we're talking about league-wide, I think both will continue to grow. At the end of the day, that's what you want to see. The growth for women's basketball has been through the roof since 2020, and I hope it continues. What's a little weird is that even though the attendance is kind of comparable between college basketball and the WNBA, the viewership gap is very big. The college regular season performs much better and well. I'm not even gonna talk about the tournament. But hey, the WNBA can eventually get there. They just have to improve a lot of things first. 
but that's it for this video. Were there any teams that surprised you in terms of the attendance they got? I'm curious to see what people think about this. Thanks for watching.